Hey, this is Ish, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the split slide transition. I don't know a better name to call it or a more official name. If you do, though, if you have a better name or a more official name, let me know down in the comments. So that way I can make sure this is properly named. Right now, what I'm going to do, I'm in expert mode. And in project assets, I already loaded the files that I needed. So I'm going to drop this file down to video track two. And if you want to know where I got my stock footage from and the audio from, stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll tell you the sources that I use. So right now I have this video clip on track two to do the split slide transition. I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to go to crop. I'm going to take crop and I'm going to drag it to video track two. This is how the clip looks when you apply crop. I'm going to change all these values down to zero. Now with the values down to zero, I'm going to set the bottom to be 50%. That leaves me with the top half. Select this icon, which is show hide keyframe controls. It opens up this window. And if you're unfamiliar with keyframes, what I'll do is in the top right corner, I'll link to a video that I did that explains five different ways that you can use keyframes and all the information that I have regarding keyframes. Click this icon here, which is toggle on animation, and that's going to set a keyframe right here at this location. Keep this keyframe at zero and I'm going to drag it out. To start, I'm going to set the keyframe to 100. Left keyframe is going to go from 100% to zero. And I'm going to hit play. And as you can see, it's coming across. So that is the top part. Only thing I'm going to change is the distance between the two keyframes because the speed is slower than I'd like. Let's take a look at that. So that comes in a lot more faster and what I'm looking for. Next, I want to create the bottom of that. So I'm going to go back to project assets. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that same clip down and put it on video track three. So the same clip is both on video track two and video track three. It has the whole image there. But for this example, I'm going to actually drag this forward just a little bit so you can see what happens with the crop. I'm going to go back to effects. I'm going to select crop. And again, crop does the same thing. I'm going to change all these back to zero. So everything is at zero. Next, I'm going to set the top to 50%. So now I have the bottom part here. I'm going to go to the right keyframe. I'm going to select toggle on animation. And similar to what I did with the other one, I'm going to keep this at zero. And then I'm going to change this to 100%. The right keyframe to go from 100% to zero. I'm going to click play. So now this is sliding across the bottom, but again, I want these to be stacked on top of each other. So now they're stacked on top of each other. I'm going to click play. Let's take a look at it. So they're both coming in at the same time. They're meeting almost near the middle and they're creating a solid image for this transition and you can adjust it to however you want. That's the nice thing about doing it this way is you can personalize the timing yourself. For this one, I want the top to come in and then the bottom to come in second after the top is already in. So I'm gonna move these keyframes further to the right. So I'm gonna play it now. All right, so the top part comes in and then the right's gonna swipe across. So you can mess around with these and adjust them to your preference and speed. If you want them to go faster, just bring this keyframe a little bit closer. Drop into here, I can bring this in, bring them a little bit closer. And then there's the top and there's the bottom. Now I have these the way I want them. How do I make sure that I save these? That way each time I wanna apply this transition, I don't have to go in here and keep having to adjust the keyframes. I got the timing right, everything's right. So let's start with this bottom one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. I'm going to click save preset. I'm going to title it top split slide. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click anchor to endpoint and anchor to endpoint. What it's going to do is make sure that it always has the same timing from the endpoint as far as where I place the keyframes. So I'm going to select that. That's now top split slide. Then I'm going to select the second track. I'm going to go back to crop. I'm going to again select save preset. This time I'm going to call it bottom split slide. And then I'm going to again click anchor to endpoint. I'm going to select OK. So now both of those are saved. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete both of these tracks and I'm going to bring them back in to demonstrate how I can now save time going forward and just take those presets and drop them back in. So I'm going to 
drop this track right back here drop the same exact track there so i have both of the tracks in i saved it i'm going to go to effects and then remember what we called it it's called split slide so you can see the bottom split and the top and now i'm going to do top slide by that there as you can see all of the settings that i just did are saved in there so anytime i need them it's right in there then i'm going to do bottom i'm going to apply that to that track again all the same presets are in there you saw how long it took me to get it to put it in there now that i have them saved it's right there for me to use and both tracks slide in and i have that transition my name's ish and my channel is focused on travel experiences and fun and one of the experiences i share on my channel is editing videos for youtube and the software i use is this software adobe premiere element i have an entire playlist filling up with videos to show you everything from how to get started how to trim and split clips how to use keyframes and save a preset so i recommend that you check out my playlist and see if you can improve how you use Premiere Elements and be able to do some cool tricks. So I'll link it in the top right corner and I'll also have the description below so you can go and check out the playlist. That's a great deal. Next, just wanna show you one other thing inside of Adobe Premiere Element and that is what if I wanted it to go in the opposite? What if I wanted to do a split vertical? So I'm gonna drag this woman in screaming I'm gonna delete the audio track, drag this woman sliding and put this back here for when I need it later. So now the roller coasters come in and I wanna capture that emotion that she has, but I want it, I don't wanna do it horizontal, I wanna do it vertical. I'm gonna to go to crop. I'm gonna drop the crop in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to left. I'm gonna put it to 50%. I'm gonna change all of these back down to zero, zero. With top, I'm gonna to go here. I'm gonna to toggle on anima animations. I'm gonna reposition this keyframe right there. And again, I wanna go from 100 to zero. So this top is at zero. And then I'm gonna do the start point. I'm gonna set it at 100. And then it added again a keyframe in the beginning. So if you look, this is how it's gonna come across. Since it's on the right side, I'm going to call this the right split. Next, I'm going to do same thing. Delete the audio. I'm going to delete this empty track. I'm going to drag her in. I'm going to again go to crop. Set these all again to zero. I'm going to set the right side to 50%. And then I'm going to set the bottom key. So it's out here. Again, we're going from 100 to zero. So I'm going to set a keyframe right here. I'm going to drag it forward and I'm going to set this to 100. And I'm going to drag it so it's on top of the other track. So let me play these two together. It's up to you on how perfect you want it to be. But this is split slide transition is what I call it. I'm going to select this. I'm going to again select save as preset. That way I can have this to reuse again. And I'm going to title it right split slide and then i'm going to select anchor to endpoint and then if you want you can type something in the description if you can or you can leave it blank in the other one i left it blank but in this one just for example purposes i'll say use with left split slide i'm going to save okay then i'm going to go to this one same thing save preset next time i need it it's already in there I'm going to say left split slide and I'm going to say use with right split slide. So that's just a note to myself. So I know going forward, hey, make sure you, this is a, a combo one. I can't just use it by itself. I'm going to select OK. And if I go to effects, use with, there it is, left split slide, right split slide. And then there is the combination of the of those effects. And again, the timing is up to you. What you want to name it is up to you. That's the nice thing about this. You can really make it your own on how you want these transitions to, how you want to use these effects to create, you know, powerful transitions. And you can even see the crop line right there between the two. So if you got value out of this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. That lets me know that people are actually watching this video. If somebody got value out of this video. If there's something that you think I could do better to make the video easier for you to understand, easier for you to enjoy, 
let me know in the comments. The only way I can improve if I get feedback, if you thought it was great. So just comment, like, subscribe. That lets me know, hey, you know, people are actually out there using Adobe Premiere Elements and they're getting value out of this content. So next, right now, I'm just going to show you where I got my stock footage and my audio from. Hey, so this is where I get my stock footage from Canva. If you're new to Canva, Canva is a great resource for content creators. The great thing about it is most of the features are free to use. Um, for stock footage, you have to have the pro license to really take advantage of it. The great thing about it is Canva is offering 30 days free pro license trial. I have a link in the description, an affiliate link that you can use to give the Canva Pro a try. But just even if you just wanna use it to create your thumbnails, Canva is such a powerful tool that I enjoy using. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to create a design in the top right corner. I'm going to go to video and it's going to open up a new window when i go and i look for my stock footage i go to video and here canva has everything listed into different categories there's business there's cities so one of the things that i'm looking for for this one when i was creating it i went into roller coaster i searched it and then you have all these different roller coaster designs in here or stock footage but as you notice all of these have the pro license as a canva pro subscriber you get this premium video for free so the canva pro license allows you to get all this different free footage to use this was the one that i used in the video so i'll drag it down here and i'll drop it in and then the video plays i get a chance to look at it i'm like all right this is what i want to use and then if there's other footage that you want it's all in here for canva so even with the woman screaming i looked i said woman screaming and then i get all these different options for people with different reactions that you can use and drag into the footage. So I looked and then I was able to drag in that example from here. So say for example, I wanted someone else. This is very similar to one that I had in my video. And again, there's the reaction if you're just looking for that stock footage that video i have less than 1000 subscribers on youtube see my subscriber count below if you have less than 1000 subscribers tubebuddy allows you to get half off of their pro license and one of the features in tubebuddy that i use is audio hero audio hero has 250,000 premium royalty free music tracks and sound effects as you can see right here it says all users with a paid tubebuddy buddy license get 20 free downloads every month from audio's heroes library of 250,000 plus premium royalty free tracks only caveat is that the downloaded audio is licensed for youtube videos only that's a great deal for this particular video since it had the roller coasters in there that's why i went in there and i looked for a roller coaster fast and then now I get all these different roller coaster tracks to check out so for this video I just listen to different tracks just to improve or to add that different quality or touch to your video if you want to check out TubeBuddy if you have less than a thousand subscribers than me they're offering half off right now off their subscription. So both affiliate links are below. But ultimately, I hope that you got value out of this video. If you use these transitions in your videos, let me know. Type it in the comments if you upload it to YouTube. I'd definitely like to check it out. Uh, give you a like and be able to see the creative ways you used it. But my name is Ish. My channel is focused on travel experiences and fun. And I hope you go out there and have a new experience today.